Hey folks, Dave here with another review. Up today is the Quake Blast W01B, uh, which is the Cloud9's black black version or uh, Chalkwave version of their uh, Chalkwave figure G1 style. The box is similar to the original. Okay, here's the original. Here's the the new box. It's just in a black and gray color tone they didn't change any of the information so it's not like uh, they're trying to make them into a different character or anything so so there is that <coughs> okay let's go down a little bit so we can see it out um, inside the package he does come with um, two of these brown translucent plastics uh, hoses which is the same exact ones as the black ones they're just, you know, see-through brown. Um, you do have the same issues as before. You can't really connect them in there real easily. And this one's kind of loose on this side. So there's that. Here's what becomes the front of the barrel and the backpack. Okay. Um, I'm not going to use this one on this figure because I'm, I have him connected to the original. Okay, there's the original. So that's what it looks like with this barrel, and there's the G1 barrel, which I enjoy a little bit better. Okay, so let me put that down. First off, this figure was called out as being a knockoff of this figure, but there's it, it begs the question of when is it actually a knockoff if it's better than the original because um, if this quake blast is a copy of quake wave then they've improved it enough so that they can call it their own figure and that's that's why i feel about this you know whole shebang there about them um, but let's check out some of the differences all right first off Let's see if we can show this one is way way longer than the other all right that is way longer they're both on the same surface one is way longer than the other uh, in case someone is trying to say well it's because you have this G1 barrel let's check it out against the squared off barrel okay same long same length it's this one's bigger this one's bigger um, add in the different the different handles just a different look to it and it, it just feels like this is a whole different toy does it have some of the same transformation uh, pieces to it? Ye well, not pieces, but some of the same transformation aspects? Yes, but shockwave. I mean, you're going to have the same thing. I mean, the arm thing is a clear ripoff from the G1. So this is a knockoff, basically it, in a nutshell. Uh, this guy is just so much better. <clears throat> Alright, um, one thing I also want to say, every time I transform this thing, I pinch my fingers, I hurt myself, and it's not like that with this, and I'm, I'm very happy with that, because um, while I like this, it, it hurts, it hurts to play with it, so there you go, now let's do some comparisons to the original, All right? of course there's the the color changes the black um, this one has a silver flat tone to the chrome this one has a very uh, reflective uh, feel to it uh, or, or finish to it the the side scopes are different this one's in brown that one's of course in pink of course there's the black and purple difference and 
um, <coughs> some of the LEDs were changed on it. Uh, one thing that really surprised me is that on this version, the trigger, let's see, the trigger is has a black, let me see what this one, the trigger has a black screw cover, and this one has a silver. You, you would have thought they would have changed that and, you know, made it black entirely here, but I, I guess it's to show it off a little bit more. But here he is. Really nice color lines. Really nice uh, panel lines and cover. Uh, it, it just, it really pops against the black. It, it looks good in the purple, but in the black version, it's just, it's just pops. I really like the uh, the chrome on here, but there is a tendency of uh, putting your fingerprints on it. So there is that, and he does light up. The lights on, but you can barely see it. May have to change the LED on this thing, make it pop out more, make it more shiny. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Here he is from the back. Very nice looking figure. Colors really pop. They did the same chrome effect to the feet, which actually helped these uh, back heel parts uh, stay more stur sturdy because uh, in my original version, it's some of these are kind of loose. So there is that. And he, he just looks good. Um, I am surprised that they left these little white tabs. Um, I don't know if this uh, plastic just can't be dyed or or what, but um, it's the same white uh, connection pieces that's on the original. So uh, I'm thinking maybe they just can't paint it or can't dye or something. I, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> transformation is pretty simple. Okay, first off, you want to separate this piece. This piece has a tendency, if you don't take it off correctly, Oh, oh, it could break the little uh, cannon arm. So what you do is go from the bottom of the figure's arms and see that? It pops it off for you. Close it. Slide over the cannon arm. You're good to go. Okay. <clears throat> Separate the arms again. Come up to here. And there's these little tabs here on the on the side here and you open those up okay and you pop it forward and it shows his head now where this is different also from the quake wave is that this head slides forward slides forward and slides back unlike quake wave where it just kind of leans on itself and you have to bend the head and uh, push up the chest at the same time for it to close. This one does not need that. You simply move the thing forward and then push the head back. At this point, at this point this is where you can turn on the chest light. There's a button here. Press the button, close up the chest, right and there nice yellow LED bring down the arms okay open this panel up they did do a running change on this they added a tab on this and a little slot for it to lock in on the arms on the hand and it's a smart move uh, even though mine doesn't this little panel doesn't open on mine I'm, I'm, I'm guessing some people had trouble with it okay to turn on the headlight there's this tab right here press it in and it's a nice red headlight and it looks good now I don't know if this chest light or this arm cannon has the right colors as check wave but uh, if anyone can tell me or knows what colors they actually were I'd appreciate you let me know that way I can change the LEDs on them all right <clears throat> come back here here's the the side scope move it forward down here's the gun handle move it down close it off close up the tabs that form 
the trigger, okay, and pull out the feet. Separate. Open them up. Turn it on the top of the legs. All right. This thing you get forward, and you simply close. Um, I've noticed that when you first mess with these joint right here, they're very tight. But as you keep messing with it, it makes it a little bit better. It makes it a little bit easier to close. I actually broke my original, but it took care of it right away. Send me replacement parts. Okay, close this off. Now these panels, you untab them, you pull them in and around. You close it off. And then you close it off like that and tab. Again, untab this, pull this in, around out and tap it in then the feet go out and the other foot goes out out and out All right bring down the hands the arms flip the hand around and there's Chuck Blast in his uh, all his glory, all right. Articulation wise, arms do spin, they're on the ratchet. There's a double bend in the arm, okay. Head is on the ball joint, very tight one. Um, I forgot to do something this waist, you pull it up. Like so. Okay. And which gives them a ratcheted joint, waist joint. Legs are ratcheted. Gives you up to that and up to that. And there's the knee. Uh, one thing I wish they would have done is put outside ratchets here, but they didn't. But they're still strong enough to hold up that very heavy leg. And there is an upper knee swivel and an upper thigh swivel that's part of transformation so he looks pretty dang good uh, the figure looks very forbid forbidding uh, he looks tough he looks like someone you don't want to mess with and um, <clears throat> the backpack does go on here some people have complained that this backpack doesn't connect properly but it does they're just too lazy to do it right uh, this tab here goes into this slot here and if you don't mess with it it won't go in there but if you open it a little bit by pulling it back and pushing it closed there it is it, it it works I mean it's just a gorgeous figure all right um, let me transform some of these other ones and I'll do a size comparison and and uh, show you some of the differences here be right back All right, I got these guys transformed. Um, I did forget to describe the hand. They do open up and uh, each finger is on the ball joint with another pin to it. At the <coughs> finger there and this, you know, thumb is on the ball joint too, but I hardly ever use those type of hands. So they don't really hold anything. Really, 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 I uh, really feel like they're kind of useless. But um, here they are. You can tell the color differences right away. Really pops out. It actually feels like this is a darker version, uh, like an evil, more tyrant than this one to me for some unknown reason. I really like it. Um, <coughs> if I can figure out what color uh, the blaster was and the chest piece was in, in the uh, Galactic, uh, I forgot what his name was, Galactic Warrior or whatever. I'll probably change those, but I mean, he, he looks really good. I really like the way he looks. Let me pull this guy off to the side. <clears throat> Here he is with Quake Blast. 
a quick wave. All right, this one just looks tougher, meaner, stronger. This, you know, this does have more reminiscence uh, to the G1 from the upper body part, but uh, it it just looks like this guy would beat this guy up in a heartbeat. All right, there's the back. Backpack is a lot bigger on this guy than this one. So, I mean, he, he looks good. Um, now, to compare it to this guy, there are changes. I mean, his head is way is way better than his head uh, and the way it, it goes into itself and it's, it will be pushed back and forth. The hands look bigger, the, the arms look bigger. I mean, this, this guy just doesn't compete with this guy. Um, add in the fact that this one was brand new and the electronics don't work on it. Uh, the eyepiece electronics didn't work and, and and you have to wonder why would someone pay a hundred and something dollars for this guy when you can get this one for seventy nine ninety nine. I mean joints are better, everything just feels better with this guy than this one does. This one is still a great figure, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I do hate the fact that I pinch myself every time I try to push these damn legs in on this guy. But it, it's 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 worth it. I mean, if you can get him cheap, I, I recommend getting him cheap. Now, as for some size comparisons, right here he is with leader class um, times return six shot. One thing I want to show you. Look, look, right. This is seventy nine dollar figure chipped. So you know ten dollars goes into chipping and that fifty bucks well fifty seven but I mean look at that look at that all right I really hope this company does more look I mean, I really hope this company does more because I would love to see what they would do with a figure like this. You know, it's it's a great figure. It's well worth the money. I could recommend this guy day and night. Um, I got mine from TF Direct. Uh, they got it out pretty fast to me once they arrived. Uh, I believe it was under a week from China. So, I mean, it, it's, it's just awesome. I could recommend this guy again over and over. Go get one. Buy one. Buy the translucent one, buy the purple one, buy the black one, just buy one just to get it and, and enjoy it. I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy what you once you receive it and have it in hand. And that's pretty much it on this guy. Oh wait, let me show you some more comparisons. Where, what the heck happened to all my comparison figures? They're right here. <laughs> All right, there he is with Sea Spray, the Legend Sea Spray figure, right? Here he is uh, with the Combiner Wars Deluxe figure, and here he is with the knockoff Arbach uh, Masterpiece car. I mean, so he works. He looks good. He looks like someone the Autobots should be afraid of, but. Uh, that's pretty much it thank you for watching have a great day afternoon evening uh, if you have any comments soon below uh, please like and subscribe and as always god bless bye